loss of four Indian Army soldiers in an encounter in Jammu marks the 48th such loss of Army personnel in the region over the past 32 months. Now, there has been a recent surge in terror attacks in Jammu and Kashmir, with terrorists changing tactics to target the peaceful Jammu region in place of heavily secured Kashmir. The recent attacks... Uh, that in fact attack claimed by Kashmir Tigers, a shadow group of the Pakistan-backed terrorist group jaish e Mohammed. Now the encounter took place when the troops of uh, Rashtriya Rifles and Special Operation Groups of Jammu and Kashmir Police launched a joint condon and search operation at Dhari Gate in Desa Forest Belt. Now the question remains, how do we avenge Doda and what are the major operations needed to curb terror activities in these areas? Areas. My colleague Ajay is still with us on the broadcast to give us more on this. Ajay, uh, of course, uh, there has been a rampant increase in these uh, terror attacks that are taking place. If we could take our viewers uh, through the latest developments that are coming in. Uh, Saudi, yes, uh, this is a major challenge for the security forces because uh, the way basically this uh, incident uh, has started increasing in the Jammu region because earlier it was only in the Kashmir where uh, terrorists, most of the terrorist uh, commander has been utilized and even uh, terror incidents were taking place in the Kashmir Valley. But now uh, the trend is that for last, uh, you know, two and a half year uh, terror attacks and terror incidents are taking place in the Jammu region. It started from the Rajori Puncheria when Bhata Dunya incident has happened, DK, uh, Diraki Gali incident has happened when uh, security forces uh, personal <coughs> they have uh, faces losses because of the terror attacks in that region uh, but after that you know it started spreading towards the jammu towards the katua towards doda kistwar and after uh, uh, you know punch there was an incident in the rajori when civilians were killed uh, i remember that how uh, civilians were targeted inside their houses and terrorists two terrorists those who were basically uh, you know uh, uh, those who uh, enter the dhangri village and uh, open undiscriminated fire on the civilians in which uh, seven civilians were killed by uh, innocent civilian was killed by the terrorist and after that you know, a number of incidents has uh, taken place here in the Jammu, uh, in uh, Kathua, in uh, the, uh, Basantgad area, uh, when uh, terrorist, uh, they, uh, uh, there was an encounter and BDG member, uh, he attended Martyred Up. Uh, other than that, we have seen that in uh, Doda district, if you see only in Doda district, in one month, more than eight incidents of terror uh, related incident has taken place in which uh, terrorists, they uh, carried out twin attack on 11th and 12th of June, when two uh, security Solution, but uh, are targeted by the terrorists in which uh, seven uh, security forces person were injured. After that, there was an encounter between the security forces and terrorists, and three terrorists were gunned down. Uh, even uh, this month only, uh, there was an encounter in the Doda district, and uh, this is the uh, second uh, such in, uh, encounter uh, today when uh, security forces person were attacked there in the this area. So, uh, series of in, uh, you know incident uh, in Jammu region that indicates that definitely it's a matter of concern Indeed. for the authorities, and the authorities has to once again review that what they have to do, uh, do because a number of infiltration attempts which is taking place that is untraced because earlier what was happening that terrorists uh, they tried to infiltrate and they were neutralized but the way incident uh, uh, happening in Jammu region that has shows that uh, uh, you know infiltration attempts has taken place and that was successful attempts which basically uh, uh, give advantage or what we can say that uh, uh, terrorists they were managed to they have managed to uh, you know sneak inside the fence area and then they are uh, they have entered here most of the terrorists those who are operating in the Jammu region, they are the foreign terrorists, right. and they are the Jashim Homer terrorists, those who are trained, especially trained by the Pakistani forces with the SSG group of Pakistani army, which is a commando force. Absolutely. So, that indicates they have been given special training to live in the forest area and survive for the longer time. Now, 48th loss of life, loss of an army, Jawan, um, in the last 32 months, that's, uh, that's an alarming number. Uh, now, in your assessment, and in fact, how are we then looking uh, to sort of uh, enhance our security architecture? See, it's a big loss. 48 in 32 months uh, is a huge number, and uh, I think it should worry the leadership. And uh, we need to uh, relook our deployment. We need to relook our tactics. Is that terrorists are drying? Uh, the forces towards their hideouts where they are comfortably sitting in the thick jungle over in, in a height in a, uh, on a mountain. So they are well protected and they are targeting our forces. Uh, that uh, I think uh, we need to look into 
when to launch operation how to launch operation and i think uh, uh, the, uh, the the senior officers need to discuss with this uh, with their units and uh, revise their uh, sops uh, see that uh, the the basics are followed properly i think uh, let's not get drawn towards their hideouts where the, the terrorists are comfortably sitting uh, with a cover uh, that i think uh, would be my point and i uh, we we uh, read uh, deployment also needs to be reviewed in jammu region because a lot of forces uh, because of lot of 15 years lull and uh, total peace um, i think there are a lot of gaps in jammu region i, I am sure the senior uh, formations of both army capf and police uh, must be reviewed that that needs to be done number 2 uh we uh, all this uh, what is happening in jammu is terrorism uh, uh they are all foreign terrorists being pushed mm. from pakistan so my uh, request to everyone would be the leadership of the army uh, who are guarding uh, loc the leadership of bsf who are guarding uh, it that we must see that how much more we can strengthen our uh, anti infiltration grid uh Uh, make it more and more difficult for the terrorists to infiltrate that uh, should be our focus because there is no local grown terrorism huh? there are people who are uh, assisting them maybe because of money coercion uh, ideology i do not know i think officers who are on the ground would know it better but uh, they need to be identified by local police and prosecuted uh, under uh, maybe enemy agent act or whatever stricter laws For more such videos subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel hit the bell icon